Today we're going to be doing some more interior and we're actually going to swap the location from our engine right where these massive tanks are at. Let's get started. So I've been doing research on some of these fishing boats and these big tanks right here that they store fish in are normally actually back here and the engine is normally in the middle of the ship. All right, so that was easy. We completely removed those tanks right there. Let's completely copy our engine. Okay, so we need to copy absolutely everything, including all those fluid pumps. If we miss anything, this is going to be a really big issue. I can tell you that. Um, We even have to copy all of this stuff down here, and we're going to have to cut out the entire floor. Okay, so I think this will work, so we'll just cut it out like this. We'll just click cut, and then we'll drag it directly back where these tanks were at. Um, I hope this works. So I think right there would perfectly work. I don't know if I should lower the flooring in here because uh, um, the actual ceiling is a little bit shorter in here because in the engine room, you can see how it dips a couple blocks. It definitely dips a whole bunch of blocks. So the engine room in here, was much bigger so it's probably going to shrink a little bit i don't know if i should lower the floor we definitely can if we need to so we should do that probably and what we'll do we'll just um test it so we're gonna paste it there um we're gonna merge it and then actually spawn it in and we need to test this 100 so let's go ahead and spawn this in and walk in our brand new engine room that we just got done installing here so we'll change the center of mass this thing's gonna float really interestingly all right so this is the new actual engine room here it's actually not too bad i really want to get rid of those pipes there i don't know how i'll do that but i'll figure it out oh that's why it's floating bad probably because there's a hole in the actual engine room okay well that doesn't make sense but um it actually isn't that bad in here and then we could probably have like some generators back here or over here i don't know we definitely need generators but yeah i think this will work let's go ahead and start connecting pipe so right now i'm just deleting all the pipes that led back here and delete all of those perfect and i definitely need to patch the holes in this this is definitely gonna cause some issues here so we're just going to fill the holes up like that perfect just how it normally was and then this is our actual drive train here we're gonna completely delete that also then we have to reconnect these pipes with the main line so they're already lined up pretty good so we're just gonna grab an angled pipe like this and then just connect them just like that so pretty simple stuff we're doing here just reconnected pipes and this is our drive terrain right here so we need to grab a um, normal pipe so it's not going to be enclosed actually it could be enclosed actually probably wouldn't hurt it too much if it's enclosed so we'll just do an enclosed pipe like that and we're gonna run it straight through the boat and bring it down here what is that pipe oh gosh um are we breaking something and then we have all these fluid ports here we have to line straight to the bottom of the ship hopefully it doesn't go into to like some curved part so bad news one of them actually does go out on a curve so we're gonna have to basically turn um all these pipes right here to the left one block and boom just like that it should all work so delete those up oh, wrong ones and three right there and then we have to put fluid ports in all of those because that would be um, a big issue if we didn't so we'll make them red the same color of our ship here and then we'll do that perfect so that should all work um is there any other piping i have to connect i might have forgotten so oh yeah fuel what did our fuel pipe actually lead to it was actually this one right here just led straight into the ground okay can we do that oh i think we can hold on if we line it straight back here oh my it's like a perfect path for the fuel tank right here oh my my gosh then this right here should lead straight down here into the fuel tank okay that'll work out now we need to connect our drive terrain to the actual propeller which is all the way back here and now we're just connecting the drive terrain so we're going to bring some straight pipes and connect that and then we'll connect it to the main one right there so now it should all work i don't know if it's going to but we're going to test it here all the um electrical logic is still connected and that's still over there that'll work for now any holes that i missed okay we have one right there and then we have to delete all these fluid ports because we definitely do not need those in here anymore so now this entire area back here and actually we're probably going to we're definitely going to extend this engine room here because we don't need all this to be um little fish storing areas that's way too much room for that um what was this oh yeah this was our fuel tank pump we don't need that all right now the engine room is bare bones how it used to be and now it's actually back here now so should we spawn this in and test it i think everything should be connected we have all the air pumps and fuel and um what about exhaust yep we have that and i think it should all work so let's go ahead and spawn it in all right moment of truth will it start and then we're gonna full throttle oh it's starting all right so let's enable the the clutch here see how fast we go and there we go so we are going pretty fast here um let's start angling up so actually if we angle up we will start picking up some more speed so we can get a whole lot of speed out of this thing actually all right so now that we have all that um quite interesting stuff done we're gonna go ahead and delete that oh uh actually we deleted way too much of our wall there and then we'll probably just delete that part right there perfect so we don't want to delete anything major then we're going to actually copy our logic here and put it back in the um actual new engine room here so what we'll do here we'll line the walls up like this so this is the the actual um engine room here that we just made and it'll go all the way back there i don't know what we'll put over here oh that's a whole lot of room for generators all right that'll work and then this will be the door to like the bilge um access area so we'll have the two um actual fishing areas right here so that'll work actually awesomely now it's actually starting to feel like a real fishing boat i don't know what i was thinking beforehand and what should we put down here i don't even know we'll put like some pumps of some sort probably 
we'll just actually leave it open for now so i know it's there and then we're gonna grab ourselves a door and this door will go straight in between the pump rooms um it's not really going to be useful in there there's not going to be a whole lot going on i can say that there we go we got that there and then we're going to line the walls like this and that's our area but now we need to actually figure out where we should put these um fish tanks at so they have to be on the sides right here because there's not enough room because that wall's in the way that that's fine that's how it works so i'm thinking like maybe right here we could have the tanks uh, i think one block higher yep that'll do all right so let's grab ourselves a hatch we'll open from the outside we'll do two back on each one just so we can have more curving going on so we'll do that and then we'll continue curving it down more of those wedges just like that and i think that could be that work and then we'll do something like this so we'll just line it to the wall like that and then we're gonna line all these straight to the ground and everything behind these um actual fish storage walls will probably put something back there i don't exactly know what we're gonna do it's probably gonna be actually bilge pumps because we need pumps for this room to fill it with water and take out water so we need multiple different pumps for that that's gonna be a whole process there there we go we got that done now we're gonna paint everything in here white awesome so these are the tanks um why don't we put a ladder actually to go down here for daily maintenance checks or something like that okay i don't really know right now that we got a ladder that goes down there we'll spawn it and make sure we don't have any flooding going on of course so let's go climb in one of these um actual fish storage areas it is a whole bunch of room in here we could definitely store so much fish in there that would work and then we're gonna actually need a cooling system for those tanks which we'll probably put um also back here so we'll put like some radiators or something to make it look like we're cooling it but you actually can't really cool stuff actually you might be able to we could run water through some radiators that actually would work we'll do that probably but let's remember to completely block that off from that room right there we're trying to seal out these rooms as much as possible from each other just in case of water issues because these are watertight doors by the way then i was also kind of thinking we need a larger wench okay so we were kind of testing out if we should use that or a normal size wench and i chose that for some reason i actually kind of like the um larger one better so let's spawn in the large one see how it looks i might um that was at least my opinion yesterday on it um but we'll see here okay nope it's not the large one it is so big okay um how should this work could we just put it right there um i don't even know i think that would work though it weighs 400 mass okay um is there any holes back here i don't think so let's spawn it in and kind of see how this thing floats with uh 400 mass on the back and probably even it out with the weight of the engine back there so um it actually isn't floating bad at all okay that actually is surprising me kind of it is floating quite well but that winch will definitely work there maybe we should back it up but if we do it'll go straight into the engine room which actually wouldn't work out that well i don't know what we'll do with that there really isn't a whole lot going on on this deck so let's just see what it would look like if we did put it up here so we'll just do something like that and uh that would actually definitely work out if we did something you know what we're gonna do that okay we're gonna actually do that so this will definitely work that's good that i actually tested it because i would have never known and then we're actually going to rise this barrier here because we're gonna fill this thing with fish and we cannot have the fish overflowing we just want them to go straight to those tanks and just like that we can already fish already actually we can't we need a whole uh fishing net which we can't even build because this game doesn't have fishing yet um at the time of this i think they might be working on something with fishing i have no idea i really hope they are though and then there's actually holes in the side of these railings in real life to let water out so um we're gonna do that also so i think you do something like that all right we just added a whole bunch of those so that'll help if actually any water goes on deck because it couldn't even escape if it did it'd be covered by these two blocks here so now it can actually seep through the sides and that's realistically how it goes and then most fishing boats in real life actually have this hall right here um a little bit higher than the back so why don't we kind of do something like that so we're gonna rise this part right here and then we'll grab this um normal wedge and we'll just line it up Across, and this will rise the hull. It'll look better once I even it out right here. That's like the main thing. I can tell you that. Launch it out just like that. And now it's rise and it'll look pretty good. We definitely need to fix all the blockiness inside of the hull actually right here. But we'll do that here in a bit. So we'll do that. And then we can probably line it down with this one by four. And I think something like that would definitely work. Yeah, that already looks nicer. Now we're going to fix this entire mess going on in the hull here. All right, so I definitely think something like that would definitely look better. So we have some seating. I mean, it's kind of seating. You really can't sit down there, but I'm um, let's spawn it in and kind of test it actually i wanted to do something with the engine here to actually um boost it up so we go on here and click 25 rps instead of 18 so this will rise the rps much higher now we're going to spawn it in and kind of test this thing out and look at everything i just added so we have the newly added rise haul that definitely looks much better and let's go ahead and start this thing enable the throttle 
Oh yeah, this thing sounds like it's much louder already. All right, enable the clutch and then definitely want to angle this so we don't fly out of the air here. But there we go, we are moving. Um, this is probably all the speed we need to go. But of course, I want to add like an overdrive gear of some sort. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I will definitely do that. But yeah, everything's looking good in here. I did not forget about the interior part of this video. So I'm thinking we're going to add like actually some windows in here so we can see outside the boat and it add some um, actual decoration outside of this thing. I but anyways, let's start on these windows. So where should I put these at? Should I put it on symmetry on both sides or should I just do one? Okay, so this is like the only spot over here I think would work. And then um, we, could we do that on the other side? I think we could. So if we grab ourselves a two by three window and actually color the frame here, because we do want some framing going on. So we'll color that to make it look nice. And I just painted the boat on accident. And then we'll put the actual um, window here. And I don't know if that's going to look good by itself. Do you think that would work out? Um, let's spawn it in. I don't know. That just really doesn't look a whole lot good. I mean, it, it it's fine, but I mean, I kind of want to have more design to it, you know. Why don't we do something like this? Okay, so let's grab ourselves a wedge here and make it the framing color. I think that was it, right? Yeah, and then we'll line it like that. And then we'll do something and we'll grab ourselves a window, but this time it's going to be curved. So we need like the curved version. We need a three long. Okay, there we go. So now we have a three long curved window and then we'll curve it in like that. Um, something like that could work. Um, let's kind of see. Um, that looks fine, but let's spawn it in and kind of look at it. I think that would definitely work. It doesn't take up as much room and I think it looks better and we can actually kind of like see the outdoors from out here not really what's um to the side of us but what's up which is kind of cool so it brings some natural light in there then I can't forget we do need lighting in this entire thing so let's grab ourselves some lights now we're probably going to color them in the future but we're just going to put them white here we go we got some lights let's grab a constant um on signal just to have them on infinite electric is also on so they should just automatically turn on the second we connect them so I only added three lights. Let's see how this actually goes. And then we're going to turn it straight to nighttime. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can see this thing has the lights inside, but we're definitely going to change the color. I don't like them being pure white. It definitely works. Uh, we need some more lighting over there and probably definitely some in the bathroom. I can say that. And then in here looks pretty good. So that'll all work. And I kind of feel like there's way too many um, tables here. You guys probably do agree with me with that. So we're going to block it off right here and probably make like a little storage room or a maintenance room, maybe a maintenance room, because we need one of those probably with like some circuit breaker. Breakers. Uh, actually, we'll probably put that in the engine room. Okay, this will work for now. Um, so we'll put our little wall like right here. Oh, that's not a wall. I want that. So we'll line that up. Nope, that's too far. Okay, we'll line it like this. We'll have the wall right there. Okay, that'll work. That'll definitely work. That looks pretty nice there. It's not even in the way of anything really. And then I'm kind of thinking this is how we will actually get below deck for like emergencies or something. So we'll put ourselves a hatch right here and this hatch will open um facing upwards i think that'll definitely work we'll have it face that way when it opens so all right and then we can go down here and check up on some stuff so our active stabilizer will be somewhere around here and replace all these blocks probably there's just an insane amount of room down here um let's delete some of these unnecessary blocks okay that's actually necessary but yep a whole bunch of room for like bilge pumps but then i just don't want that sitting there so we're actually going to put some equipment here so let's scroll down to the equipment category um should we grab ourselves some welders here um actually i don't know i don't i feel like that should all be in the engine room um let's grab a fire extinguisher we need a fire extinguisher in each and every room for emergency so where should the one be in here at? we'll make it as visible as possible we'll put it right there then we're going to color it brown on the sides just like that so now we have a fire extinguisher and we actually need to put one in this room also so we'll put one like right up here i don't know exactly what we'll put there for now we'll just leave a plane i'll definitely add some stuff to that but we need to put stuff on these walls these walls are looking very plain so let's go kind of shopping again let's go ahead and save this okay so i think i'm just going to copy literally all of these paintings and put them inside of it um all these look pretty cool so why don't we do that and then is there anything else there's definitely there definitely is stuff so like cabinets and stuff oh that's so smart we could put cabinets in there we're gonna do that okay um after we put all these paintings in we're gonna grab ourselves some cabinets oh my gosh i just realized we can barely even hang stuff on the walls on that lower part what about this higher part here i think we can on the higher part but i want to put like cabinets up there so i don't even know we can't put stuff on this wall right here because of those um curved wedges because that's part of the halls so here how about we put it in here okay that'll work we'll put it right there and then uh does it get in the way of the bathroom yes it does we'll just color that our granite color right there and why don't we put like a little painting in here of like our ship or something yeah we'll just put it um right here oh we can't even do that okay we'll just put it on the top shelf right there okay that will work merge it in so it doesn't fall out of this thing when we spawn it and make sure to color the outside okay there we go now we got paintings in here kind of i'm kind of thinking we should maybe replace all those weird looking chairs with these actual um comfortable looking chairs that are being sat on by microcontrollers okay i don't even know but this that would definitely look better so let's go and maybe install these but we'll see how it looks okay so this is what it looks like with these chairs in here i think it looks 10 times better maybe we should even grab 
this um, one by one chair or the smaller one, not one by one, but the smaller chair and put it in that person's spot. And we actually can control like how the seat is at an angle. I don't know how that works, but we'll definitely do that. Then we even did a little touch up and rise the floor. So this is actually looking nice. Hold on. I need to spawn this in and actually check this out for myself. I feel like this looks really good. Oh yes, this looks perfect. This is exactly what I wanted, but um, I don't think we can actually have them sit here like realistically. It's just kind of for a show, I guess. I mean, I want them to sit there realistically though. I don't know how we should do that. If we did do something like that, we would have to like back up this entire um, desk right here. Um, we're going to do that, of course, and just see how it looks, but I don't know if we're actually going to have it permanently be like that. Oh, we missed a whole block on the end there. All right, we got that copy. We'll bring it back one block just like that. Okay, it's sticking out a little bit. We can still walk through here. It is um, still two blocks wide, so it's the minimal we need to actually walk through there. That should definitely work, though. And then we can add some seats to this, actually, so why don't we do that? And then we'll place these seats right here on the end, and there we go. So now we have some seating on those ones. Should we make it so we can sit on this one? I think we should. Why not? And there we go. Now we can sit on all of those. Let's find it in once again and see if we can actually walk past that thing all right so our new seating area we can indeed sit down oh this is really nice it feels realistic too with the countertop and the rised um, flooring oh yeah this just looks really nice in here so i definitely need to add stuff on that wall right there so cabinets and this stuff right here 100 percent uh yeah we need to add a whole bunch of stuff we're going ikea shopping right now looking for some stuff to add so i think we're going to take this entire like cabinet setup thing they got going on here we're just going to copy this and i think that should work we'll just bring it straight up here with all this other stuff i want to also put inside the boat and we'll just put it right next to all of that and continue shopping here so is there anything else um all right got done with my shopping spree where is it all at okay it's right here let's put it on the same side of where all these other paintings are at because we are going to have them in the boat at some points, but I don't know when. So we'll just put all of our crap over here for now. I think I want these cabinets right here to be um, where I said I wanted them, I guess. So we'll just put click K twice, drag them straight over here, and it might be really close to the perfect spot. Nope, we have to rise on one block. Okay, that's fine. And now we have some cabinets over here. So we'll put some right there, and then we'll just line the wall with them. I kind of want them to be longer, though. Maybe we could put like an additional paint block in the middle. Um, I don't know. Maybe we could do something like that. That was as simple as said. I literally just had to like paint over it okay that'll work and then we'll just copy this a couple more times over here so we'll do that and actually wait should we have them different sizes like every other one why don't we do that also um we'll copy that put it right there and then we'll delete this extra block right here we just messed up with there we go so now we have decoration going on on that wall right there i don't know if we're gonna put anything right here there's not really a whole lot of room but we need to add some stuff on this wall now then we're gonna actually gonna put like this rug um right in front of the engine room so they can wipe their shoes off because it might get really dirty in there so we'll do that and i don't even know what we're gonna put over here so we're just gonna make like a little desk um that'll definitely work <clears throat> just to fill up the space so i'll fill it up like that we got to delete that additional block right there and there we go so now we have a desk but let's actually paint the top of it gray here so it doesn't look all brown but there we go i'd say we got this room pretty well decorated um we definitely need to fix all this stuff in here and decorate this room majorly it definitely needs a whole new makeover right there but we added a whole bunch of stuff today that's probably gonna be it for this video though let me know what we should do next down in the comment section of course but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell to stay tuned for some more fishing building videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.